All right, guys, I'm going to read aloud the article we're reading uh, today for those of you that need a little bit of help reading it. Um, it's from New Zealand. Eh? It says California approves testing of autonomous vehicles. All right, so here we go. Los Angeles, California. Driverless cars will be tested in California for the first time without a person behind a steering wheel. New rules approved on February 26 by state regulators allow for the fast developing technology to be tested without human drivers. So now they're going to allow people uh, or driverless cars to be tested, right, in California. So re regulations are a major step towards getting autonomous vehicles or self-driving cars sold at dealerships and onto the streets of California. California-based companies such as Tesla and Waymo are leading the way on the technology. Until now, driverless cars could only be tested on public roads in the state if a person could take the wheel in an emergency. A move that had to happen. Nidhi Kalra works at Rancorp as a senior scientist and has been studying the issue for a decade. I think this is a move that had to happen for California to stay competitive in this field, she said. <clears throat> Although the technology is being developed in California, companies such as Waymo have been testing in other states like neighboring Arizona, where they had to do that, do that to work around the previous driver testing regulations, she said. You can't test what true full autonomy looks like unless there's no driver at all, Calra said. To be able to test it right in your backyard is a really big deal. Technology faces opposition. Not all groups are celebrating the new rules. The advocacy group Consumer Watchdog claims self-driving cars have not yet been proven safe enough to be deployed without a human backup driver. It will be just like playing a video game, except lives will be at stake, said John Simpson, the group's privacy and technology project director. 50 companies already have permits to test on public roads and highways in California. The state is a prime is a prime proving ground for the technology, given it is the most populous state with the biggest car market in the nation. It is known for and it is known for its role as a cultural trendsetter. Talking about California, right? People usually follow, follow our state. We like trying new things. Human control. The vehicle will no longer need to have drivers inside during tests but people will still be in charge. Under the regulations, driverless cars being tested on public roads must have a remote operator monitoring it at all times, ready to take over as needed. So they can, right, they can be without um, a driver right now, but they still need to have someone with the remote. So it's almost like a driver, but not inside the car, right? The remote operator must also be able to communicate with police as well as any passengers in the event of an accident. California's Department of Motor Vehicles, or the DMV, wrote the new laws. They require car makers to make a plan with law enforcement on what routes on the road the cars will take. Manufacturers can apply for permits allowing driverless testing on March 2nd, and the new regulations will go into effect April 2nd. This is actually in eight, uh, 2018. That's when the article was written. The rules were approved by the state's Office of Administrative Law. The rules also create the framework under which consumers can eventually buy driverless cars. The director of California DMV, Gene Shiomoto, said that the regulations have been in the works for years and that safety is our top concern. Still a few years away, major automakers like Mercedes, BMW, Ford, Nissan, and Volvo have all said it will likely be at least 2020 before their driverless vehicles are available. Even then, they could be confined to ride-hailing fleets like Uber or Lyft and other shared applications. So it says, like, basically... All these places, Mercedes, BMW, Ford, Nissan, Volvo, might start selling them, but it's only going to be allowed through like Uber or Lyft or something along those lines. Tesla Incorporated said last year that its cars had the hardware they needed for full driving self car or full self driving. The company is still testing the software and won't make it available to owners without regulatory approval. Industry leader Waymo, Google's self driving car branch, is not commenting on its rollout schedule. So that's what we got so far.